come back a bit later. 12 o'clock. And we'll carry on with this. Thank you very much. And coming up next, we've got the La Blanche one day special. Is there any left? Not much. Then we've got Design and Sew. And later on, we've got MDF with Olive Angie. This set of 100 powerful neodymium magnets are an essential staple for scrapbookers and album makers alike. Ideal for creating fastenings for your albums and envelopes or for use in your scrapbooking projects, these incredibly strong 10mm magnets offer a firm fix and a smart finish. To add this to your crafting stash, go to achanda.com. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products, we have also shrink sleeves, for your jars, glasses, we have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies, and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Very good morning to you. It's a bevy of beauties. Look at us, sir. Uh, the three amigos see no, hear no, speak no. Which one are you? <laughs> oh, I think C. Oh, I'll be here. All of it. Speak no. Uh, <laughs> to, so we've got the lovely Adam with me, Auntie, and you know our lovely Leone. And we've got the Lavage One Day Special. Indeed. Oh. It has been absolutely oh. amazing. Uh, launch yesterday. We had a two hour launch yesterday. We sold out of one of the One Day Special options. And there's none of this. Oh, we can get some extra. Once it's gone, it's gone this it's time. Gone. Uh, so, yeah, no extended delivery on anything because they were really trying to do calls yesterday. Ooh. And it has been lovely. And it's been lovely having that. Having Adam's company, of course, because brand new to our channel. Fresh eyes. Really and fresh yeah. eyes on something. Because I know I've done La Branche with you before and I absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah. But fresh eyes. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, to have that real yeah. first impression is and a real And it's quite wow. exciting, isn't it? It is. You know, see all the different medias and different how you can make different things up from. Yeah. From Nothing. From nothing. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it is really cool. And I think LeBlanc, they provide so many different things for us to work with. They're amazing. They are amazing. Well, speak no. We're going to speak to you in a minute. I'll let you crack on. All right, my I'll darling. Uh, Thank you, all right, Adam. For anybody who missed the launch, a two hour launch yesterday, uh, let's just have a recap of what you're getting. So, Leonie, tell me, what gorgeousness have we got for everybody this morning? So, what we've got, uh, first of all, we've got our uh, metal embellishments. Now, these are gorgeous. You are getting five different. Um, designs they're about 12 inch long
long. So, I mean, they yeah. are sizable. Ooh. You can cut them down with a... I haven't been using a rubbish pair of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll say hello to Alex. Alex loves the size of these because you can do loads with them. Um, you can cut them down with scissors if you want to. Obviously, you can use them on anything. Yeah. It might be a card because of lightweight stuff. It might be a mixed media project. It might be a home decor. Um, so you've got... 20 of those so you've got uh, four of each design right first of all and you can see just how detailed these are Ooh. these are exquisite and i love using metal embellishments in my mixed media because it looks posh you know it looks fabulous but but with these two and um, because you're getting uh, something you can work with in so many ways they're not expensive which is amazing you've then got with these the waxes and if I get that card for you at the front, you can see, sorry, there we go, sorry, it's a bit tricky, is that one? There, you can see the shine. I've look already been that. opening your pots, Leone, because it's hard to have a look. Isn't Let me lovely? just reach over to you. Isn't it look lovely? at those. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look at that orange. Now, that. the first two sold out. We've only got these two Ooh. left, but they are absolutely exquisite. Ooh. So you've got the uh, beautiful, I can't remember the names. Honey gold and the green, what's and the, the green? turtle green? Turtle green. Sorry, I mean, I'm to turn you up a bit. Um, now, Ooh. they are here. Yeah, I know, if, you don't, if I don't say it, I possibly didn't hear it. They smell, um, they, they smell nice as well. Don't they just, cool. they what's really that? do. They smell like a certain this chocolate orange. This is Pentart Port Orange um, Essence in there. Oh, and really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you use oh, it, you know why a lot of crafty things that don't smell that pleasant? <laughs> they are good, aren't they? They they're, are they're good. Really, I'll see you later. <laughs> they are lovely. It, it is a little bit nice. It's a little bit nice. A bit and they're so nice to use. Oh. I mean, they go on beautifully because they're so soft and, and gorgeous. Now, look at that metal. See, this is super cool. cool. Really, really cool. Easy to use. The beautiful waxes. I mean, look oh, at that. That's wow. one. Um, the obviously La Blanche scent. Oh, the La Blanche team is so good. You can see the shine of that metal stunning. wax, can't you? Absolutely. Is that stunning. not just gorgeous? Um, now, highly recommend these. The value for money is amazing. Um, and obviously, this is the only one that we've got left now. So, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you do. Who wants to get hold of these? Um, please check your baskets out. Absolutely yeah. exquisite. I, th I think last night you'd reached already 50% of the stock gone. Yeah, well, um, one, of the stock, uh, one of the options has gone, oh. and then this is the second option, <gasps> so the half, remaining option. Yeah, and over half's already gone. So please, please, please don't miss out, especially that amazing price point. 1999 no. oh, We can see these amazing images here as we walk by. And do look behind myself and Leonie because, they, like you said, the team have sent over oh, yeah. such creative designs. LeBlanc are always amazing at this. Oh, they the always, brilliant. always send us over so many beautiful finished samples. I mean, they are so good. These are stunning. This is your rice paper. Look at this. Now, rice paper is seriously popular recently. Yeah. Um, I love it because you can put it on so many different things. If you've got the right adhesive, this can go on fabric. Ooh. If you've got um, the right adhesive, you might be using it for your furniture. Because it's so lightweight, it easily goes round things. Yeah. Which is gorgeous. These images are striking. They're stunning. Absolutely stunning. You're getting two of each sheet. So on this one, you've got the large image and then the three smaller. And then on this sheet, and I must admit, I mean, that is one of my favourites. Oh. I just think well, this, these are exquisite. This box here, Leone, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, that lady's on, if we Look can just, that. I'm sure you've already... And that it, is but. just phenomenally easy that. to do. But that is literally just popping it on the box, glaze yeah. over, black paint around the outside. Wow. That is it. That is it. That's yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I mean, that's the beautiful thing about these. You can do loads with them. If you want, you can paint the face. You can make it your own. Or, of course, let me just find another one for you. Oh, that's or nice. Very serene, that one, isn't it? Do you know it? what? This <gasps> is the one, um, a demo from start to finish yesterday. Oh, OK. So, so if we that, watched on Rewind. Yeah, that was probably on the 6 o'clock hour. Right. So start to finish, we did that one. And it's ridiculously easy. <laughs> because we've got the product you know we've got the rice paper we've got the gorgeous metal embellishments we've got the fantastic stencils 
and of course if you see the shine on there as well we've got the beautiful wax and that. you can see the the lovely wax shine stunning stunning absolutely stunning and don't forget you're getting two of each of these sheets 10.99 521 two thirds of the stock have already gone so please 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 i know it's the one day special but it's better to act quicker you know absolutely. rather than miss out okay because yeah. we did have the sellout yesterday absolutely and no. it is like we were saying once this lot have gone there is we haven't got no. any extended delivery Can't Blanche, be doing that. have been so busy yeah. of late so it's like now nah, once it's gone it's gone that's that um these are good oh, for you i remember their media stamps mm -hmm. these are amazing these are stunning because the huge i mean look mm -hmm. at that that is a massive stamp Huge. now the thing is with these they are so detailed um surprisingly detailed this is actually silicone so it's quite so silicone so it's tough as well right you know it really takes some um some use and abuse um it does mean obviously because it's silicone you can really scrub it clean so you can use it with your paints so that means it's great for maybe again you're using it for your mixed media but maybe you're using this on fabric maybe you're going to be using this for things that you're upcycling and oh. they just because of such gorgeous big images they really fill a space as well i mean this at blanche's sensors isn't that fabulous that's fantastic and it's easy you're literally just putting oh, we did beautiful. a really quick demo last night just as we were did closing you? the show oh, just to show word. how simple it is to actually stamp on fabric i'll do it again at the one o'clock because i need to oh, find me yeah. the hunk of fabric that i've got somewhere dead safe yeah i'll have a go with the angelina if fibers as well because they'll uh, it'll be very oh, safe that, we'll be talking to susan later <laughs> so you can think a bit of her fabric that is yeah. amazing yeah i'll be like let's read the stuff and what have you done there that's now, on the these have actually been stamped and embossed in clear uh -huh. and then uh, gone over with the gorgeous waxes oh, so they're wow. the waxes that we've got left doesn't that Turtle look and the gold or yeah mm. oh my word that's beautiful so 17.99 for all three of those stamps what an incredible price not just for one brilliant. but for all three great yeah. durability 157403 so please don't miss out especially as that nine pound saving mm. is marvelous it's exceptional my love now, now. the deck posh it's definitely going to demonstrate these in this hour yeah because these are remarkable and um, they're big sheets they're huge now this decoupage um it doesn't feel like your regular decoupage no. paper decoupage paper used to feel um the ones that you use for you know to use with your glues and things yeah on furniture they feel different they feel these feel thinner, really they? sturdy yeah they feel quite substantial in comparison but 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 you apply them you can wet them through first yeah you put them in water yeah and then just slide them in place and then glue over the top Great. They are fabulous. So you've got four I mean, designs and you get yeah. three of each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at the designs. Oh, the I mean, they're work. just amazing. I it's adore beautiful. these. Again, very easy to work with. I mean, look at that amazing. one. That's the one I've already cut up, ready to use. I love this. I love it. And let me show you. Because they are a decoupage paper, it means you can go round. <gasps> if I just take these This is what two. we said about. Look at going over our shoulder. Look at all these gorgeous. See. Because Gorgeous it's decoupage paper, it goes round, yeah. and that is easy. Look how it's gone round the lid. They've done it on the bottle boxes mm. there, the square boxes. Recycling, you know, recycling, upcycling is amazing. See. Yeah. So how good does that an look? An old whiskey bottle. It doesn't yeah. have to be whiskey, but do you know what I mean? You always have yeah. lying. Maybe it's just me. You always have them lying around, don't you? <laughs> just you lying around. around. Loads of them just empty. lying around. That's the trouble. They're empty. So you, this is what you need to do with them. I mean, <laughs> they're beautiful. That look beautiful. And then, I mean, you could be selling that. You could be putting other oh, things in. Yeah. Might be bath bombs. You yes. make, might be making yeah. bath bombs to sell. You know, the Beautiful vinaigrette of, or something. Yeah. yeah. Stunning. Stunning, isn't it? Oh. Absolutely stunning. And it's easy. Again, really easy. We're going to see you do this, is that right? Definitely demonstrating that in this hour. Fantastic. So I've got a stock, stock update on that. A uh, quarter of the stock already gone, so please don't miss out again. You're getting 12 of those sheets, uh, four designs, three of each, 17.99, and we're going to see those in action in a moment. But something Next. I know that's been on before, but I haven't seen it, and I was oh. like, oh my word, these are good. These, these are, so are cool. better than good. This mm. is revolutionary because I've not seen something like this these are on super the show before. Cool. Now, look at the designs. The designs are so intricate, so delicate. Now, they are a flexible stencil, and that in itself is fantastic because fantastic it allows you right. to go round things. So you might be going round forces, it might be, you know, it might be 
heavy glass balls that you detest. So you're going to go around detest. That's a harsh word. <laughs> it might be a glass. Oh, jam glass. jar. An old jam jar. Exactly. It's doing you might nothing. Be recycling again. An old whiskey bottle. Exactly. That's empty. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Using your, um, you know, you might be using all your beautiful paints with it. Yeah. You might be using um, your wonderful chalk paints. But the thing is with these, not only are they seriously flexible, but they're also sticky. So it means if you are putting them onto your jam jar, or your old whiskey jar, they are going to stick. So that's how look flexible they are. How good is this? But look, they are sticky. And reusable, I take it. And reusable. <gasps> and they're really, really cool of these. I love them. But you can use them with your texture paste, you know, and the texture you look can get is just adorable. You can see the texture there. Yeah. Um, obviously, then used with the crackle that we've got on the show. Used with, actually, that's used with some of the paste that have sold out. Sorry. Oh, uh, that's yeah. easiness. I know, but, I know. But that's the thing is that it can go around the corners. It can go around yes. those awkward bends. I mean, yep. that's just, we haven't seen that before with the stencil. This, you're taking it off, you're putting it on, you're taking it off. Not as a problem, but. Absolutely. It's, it's, These are so cool. Look at that. I love it. I mean, that this. is beautiful. Again, your waxes, you can use your waxes to highlight. I, that is just so beautiful, isn't it? Again, Gorgeous. sent in from uh, La Blanche. That is, I love it. Oh, Absolutely I'm, love it. I'm a Applaud in Leblanche. I mean, those they fancy, they're, they're amazing. Um, and we are getting all of these stencils for an amazing $14.99. Half the stock has already gone, so again, just if you want it, I'd come in nice and early. 619 at 187. Now, let's have some more inspiration from Leblanche and then we'll uh, have a little look with Leone. <laughs> I was just saying it's just general gorgeousness down the whole counter and if you're loving the Christmas cards and uh, the tags and the um, the decoupage please have a look on the website because I know this has been on before and we've got it in the background we haven't spoken about it but they are available on the website as well you can shop by brand as well and go straight to La Blanche right you're gonna get started am. aren't you all I'm gonna do now it is a repeat from last night but because of launch show because we did an extra launch show yeah um, some people might not have seen the very first show yeah and I thought I'm just gonna go through the different ways Good. first of colour in the main. Yes, because please. Because that yeah. is important as well. Um, so, what I've done... Until I've arrived. So it. sorry. I mean, you know, it takes a few seconds. As soon as I'm on... A few seconds and boom. She's in. She's in. Start, we had it on the stand last night. Let's give it a oh. bit of height. To Thanks, make sure it that. Okay. So, um, with this one, what um, I've done is I've already put gesso on it. So, okay. I've got white gesso on that one, black gesso on that one. Okay. Um, and that just gives it a bit of a key. So, you can start adding other things to it so you might want to add um, paints to this mm -hmm. so this is one of my acrylics I'll just give it a little bit of a shake so if I have my acrylic paints this now acrylic paints are fab on this because obviously your acrylics go on all sorts of surfaces but on a metal surface why not so you can pop that down first of all and that's going to give me a flat color initially I'm just going to do half okay so that gives me um, shall I bring that in a little bit? It gives me a flat surface, first of all, but mm -hmm. if I give this, oh no, where did I put my sanding block? I think I went and lent my sanding block to someone. Oh, I know, you should never lend stuff, because I don't know where it's gone. Oh, mm. We haven't got a piece of sandpaper, have we? My I'll ask Matt oh, if he, he's, Matt. he's one looking for him. Thanks, for us, yeah. Oh, it's a oh, no, bit sandpaper, been. yeah. Sandpaper. Can't Matt. see it on the table. I lent so. the sanding block out and I haven't got it back. Is that because you want to distress it up and um, yes, yeah, <laughs> and have a bit of the metal coming through? Well, yeah, that's oh, right, exactly okay. it because this gives you a flat surface, you see. Yeah. So what you want to do then is sand it back off and then you get the metal back again. Nice. But, but this is why you shouldn't ever. 
lend you sanding but that's a sick now I did find a spur one but okay so I'll see if I can do it. oh there you go it's okay now the lovely thing is because I use this for cleaning on paints it's gone solid ah <laughs> so it's, it's like a sanding block so it's kind of <laughs> I've kind of made my own sanding block but but so you put your acrylic paint on and ah. then if you rub it off or sand it off better because you're going to get a better effect but then can you see that metal then yeah. starts coming through, which looks really effective. Even better when you sand it, but that looks really effective. So you can use your gesso with your acrylic paints. Any acrylic paints, play with that, you know, okay. play with the different looks. Yeah. Why not, though, use your fantastic spritzers? Sorry, I'm doing lots of rummaging. Aren't I? That's okay. I am. I'll ask I'll ask questions because I, I didn't I didn't see the, the, the launch. Did um can you use alcohol pens on these? Yes, we'll be doing that too. Ah, right. So, one of my spritzers. So, this is the other thing that you can do. Because you've got um, lots of different materials, like your distress oxide, yeah. why not try the distress oxide? So, with this, giving Ooh. it a bit of a shake, first of all, that will wake the ink up. You need to do it with distress oxide. Always cover the top, however. Because I'm shaking it, yeah. obviously the ink can actually work on its way up to the top of the spritzer. Oh, okay. You don't want that, so give it a good shake. Oh, I see. So then, and normally I put card under here. Not normally, I am going to. Mm -hmm. Sorry, rummaging again. There we go. <laughs> it's a rummage day today. There, pop that there. So with your spritzers, Ooh. oh, I would pick the one that needs that. Sorry, folks. It's a really annoying spritzer bottle, is that one? Oh. I've got some of my Distress Oxide spritzer bottles that you need to really be violent with in order to make them work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know you have to use them on really bad days. So, let's just hope. There we go. That baby's working. Now, while that's wet, mm -hmm. give it a blast, okay? okay. Because what it's going to do, again, this is working because I've got that oh it looks nice I love over knits. that yeah i love yeah, it i'm gonna put it blue. on the blue actually i like color, that i like that yeah so because i've got the gesso on there first of all yeah it means it's taking it now the wonderful thing about using metal all of these work right you know all okay. of these are because your metal it takes so much um so many different look at my my thing it's smoking it takes so many different mediums and that's a beautiful thing about working on a metal. Oh, yay, sandpaper. Yay. Thank you, Matt. You're a star. He's a hero, isn't he? Yes. On Aidy. On Aidy. Thank you, Aidy. Thank <laughs> you. See, so as it dries, look at that colour coming through. Oh, I like that a lot. Isn't that cool? I've got a bit of smoke. Um, look, look. Now, if I then now i've got the sandpaper yeah if i get the sandpaper Ooh. And then scratch that back I'm loving those colors yeah Happy the noise. that is funny i don't mind that noise no i don't mind either <laughs> and then look at that does that Fantastic. look good that's so good that's well cool, that's isn't brilliant. it? Absolutely and brilliant. And that again, something like that is so easy. And because it's metal, it'll stay. It'll take it. Yeah, so just it give it the really, gesso for the key. Absolutely. Now, the other one, I've put black gesso on this one. Yeah. Now, again, we've got our beautiful paste. Oh, obviously, obviously. Fragrant the paste, paste. Yes. Ooh. The beautiful, fragrant paste. Now, of course, the paste are going to work with this. You might want to put the paste on with your finger. Now, can I, I go on without the gesso? Um, yes, you know, yes, yes, yes. Okay. I like it with the gesso on because, again, it gives it a key. Yeah. So it makes it dead easy, mm -hmm. you know, because um, when it is just metal, mm -hmm. you have to, for instance, if I just pick this one up. Mm -hmm. So when it is just your straight metal, if you go on and wipe too much, you can wipe oh, it all back yes, off again. Yes, I see. So yeah. when it's going on straight metal, you kind of have to boing it on, if you will. And mm -hmm. then leave it. So you're almost like pouncing it on, stippling it on, that's a better word. And then leaving it. Whereas with your gesso, when it's gessoed, you've just got a bit of a key. So you've got more chance of it sticking. Now, if you don't like working with your finger, you can 
work with a brush Ooh. you can work with a sponge so look it's going a lot it's lighter stippled yeah but it does stipple it on yeah so you do get that beautiful it's now yeah that is now our word of the day so it does give it a really nice oh, i that. love that that gold is honey gold is yeah. gorgeous isn't that just oh, beautiful yum, yum, let me yum. show you the other one as well let me just get that off my finger now it is metal again so be careful of the sharp edges mm -hmm. when you're cutting it down look at that green Ooh. Isn't it lovely? Oh, that I is absolutely lush. adore yeah. these colours. And again, I'm loving the, the little mix there. You, yeah. you kind of accidentally. Oh, yeah. you, you want to be mixing everything. And again, I mean, this is a lovely thing. When we've got all these products, just see what they do. Experiment, you know, because that's the lovely thing about crafting, isn't it? The experimentation. Mm. I love this. The happy accidents. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Doesn't that just look fabulous? <sighs> that colour. Look at that. Isn't that just Gorgeous. beautiful? So ornate. And that go look at that. Isn't it nice? Beautiful. Leave it to dry, then beautiful. you can buff it up, of course. Now, you did say about your alcohol inks. Alcohol inks go yeah. on the metal wonderfully. With your alcohol inks, I wouldn't bother, first of all, uh, putting any gesso. Because with alcohol okay. inks, you want it to be um, on the metal. It's okay. going to stick to the metal. So if I take my really mucky sponge, <laughs> that one won't open. And my old alcohol inks. There we go. I've got one open. Hey! <laughs> you don't have to be violent with it. I'm yeah. <laughs> and then I haven't, I haven't had my breakfast. I'll blame it on lack of food. I know. Weak look at that colour. Ooh. This that took really well. Is, oh, yeah. On that metal, these work <gasps> like a dream. Again, mix your colours. Don't just put this on. Put your beautiful waxes over the top. Let's see if I can open one of my other bottles. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> I think this is sort of the same colour. Hold on. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> All in the prep. Nice. I only opened one bottle. There you go. See, Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Stunning. Love oh, that. I love these colours. I love these colours. And again, let me hold, hold that up for you. So that's, Look uh, at that. I mean, we've got purple on this one with our... Um, that has got yeah. the metallic ink. Now, that has actually, that, it's using the ink that I've literally just used. Yeah. And then I've gone over with the metallic waxes. <gasps> so, I've actually oh. gone over, I think I've gone over with the green on that. And Gosh. doesn't that look absolutely amazing? Um, did you use some um, on this as well? Did you use the cracking? Because I can see the crackles. Did you, no. no, that's not, that's a stencil, nope, isn't it? I definitely did. Because I've got that the cracking on gel on my. Uh, yeah, I was going to talk oh. about that later when I were actually okay, doing it, but yep. I can talk, interrupt this instead. Just because we've got it on on the desk uh, I here. I can show you. Yeah. So that's the crackle gel there. Right. Can you see? So it's a really beautiful fine crackle is this one. Uh, it's a two part solution. So you put the first one on and let it dry and then put the second one on. It does that gorgeous crackle. It is so exquisite. And then of course you can put um, the, the varnish over the top as well ah. and that will protect it. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful product. Again from Pentar, absolutely exceptional. So these are the ones that are on the desk. I know Leone is going to use them later. 11.99, 9477 uh, for all of those three fantastic pots. The crack and gel, the glazing gel and the primer as well all in there to give you that sort of weathered sort of ancient look there. Brilliant. Now something I did do last night was using um, embossing powders. Ooh. Embossing powders on this look fabulous yeah. and again because it's metal you can do it. I must admit you know what? I'm going to try the opposite way around though. Oh, okay. Because obviously you've got a metal embellishment. You know, one side Ooh. is raised, but the other side you've got it. It's obviously dinted in. It's um, you know, it's got those little cavities to work in. So let's see what it happens. Is that what you've done on this, Leonie? Yes. Ooh, that has been embossed. <laughs> Doesn't it look? Can I cheekily show everybody? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, look at that. It looks well nice, oh, doesn't it? And it's got a lovely sparkle in there. In the the, uh, the embossing powder, which is sort of black and gold. <gasps> Beautiful. Nice. Nice. I would never thought of putting embossing powder on, on, on well, metal. This is a lovely thing about metal. Um, oh, I forgot to finish that off. I'm sorry, because I interrupted myself. Forgot. That's um, me. I interrupted you, darling. That's oh, what's okay. up. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm Go back to this, though. Now, with this one, what you've got is I've put my embossing 
first of all. So it's a clearing. You put that on, that makes it sticky. Okay. So I'll put that on first, and then I'm going to go on with an embossing powder. So I might go on with this one, first of all. I mm -hmm. might go on with the gold. So put the gold embossing powder over the top. And this is a beautiful thing. Metal is such a cool thing to work with because it takes so many different products. Yeah, it doesn't you know, have no yeah, idea. It, it could be really, so versatile, really, it really allows you to play. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, this is only the decorating. It's then what you do with it. Yeah. You know, it's well, all yeah. the different experiments that, um, that you work with, whether it is going to be on your, you know, on your art journals, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, heat emboss it and look. Because it's metal, it goes quick. Because it heats up quick. Can you see it that? It conducts that heat really. Good. Look at that. Don't it look Transform good? Transform straight away. So oh, already, gorgeous. we've got that wonderful gold going on. And this is using the metal embellishment the wrong way around. But I like that a lot. Now, while it's hot, you can start playing with this. So take some of the pink. And I'll sprinkle, so I'm just going to sprinkle the pink in. Now I'm going to give everybody an update while you're sprinkling, Leonie. 70% of the one day special has now gone. 70%? Wow. I'm not, I'm not surprised. 19 99 you, you get uh, about 20 of those beautiful metal uh, frames that um, Leonie's working with. That were 12 inch each, those borders, I should say. And two of those gorgeous pent art pastes in the honey gold and the turtle green for 19 99 098-853. 70% has gone. And we, once it's gone, it's gone. We can't do delay dispatch or anything like that. Uh, so just to flag that up. So you sprinkled with your pink yes. there. <gasps> now, Ooh. this is interesting because it's pink, but it's got a lot of gold glitter in it. Yeah. And what you'll notice is when you emboss it, that pink kind of disappears. Oh, yeah. But the glitter, can you see the glitter coming I through? Can. So play with your different embossing powders because they'll give you different effects. So you just put that fresh on while it's still warm? Yes. Mm. And the beautiful thing is because the metal stays warm longer, it means that, um, that you don't need to keep going on with your... Um, you don't need to keep going on with your powder, with your, yeah. your ink, sorry. Yeah. Because it's still conducting the heat, that powder is going to stick to it. So you're yeah. not going to have to faff about putting on extra layers adhesives, yeah. of adhesive. Yeah. Absolutely. Just be careful touching the metal to tap because off the excess. Yeah. Because it is pretty hot. But you'll notice there's not that much excess. No. You know, because a lot does stick to that metal. And I like how many layers you can put on here. Mm. You know, you can get really carried away and yet I've still got a lot of definition. So again, just play with your powders. See what goes together the best. See what you, you love. You know, because you'll get some really cool effects. So just going on now and you can see how that bit of blue. I like Ooh. that little bit of blue. Gives it a little icy dust, doesn't it? And when it's melting, it's quite interesting because it looks like the flowers are moving, it looks like the metal's moving, mm -hmm. but it isn't, it's the embossing powder. But at first you think, oh my gosh, doesn't it? It's come to life. <laughs> I, at first I thought, oh my word, I think I'm melting metal. But they're like, oh no, Leon, it's a powder. But it does look really good. I love that. I just think it's one of them, you know, you get really addicted to this. You end up layering that many colours, you can't you see can't anything. You can't remember where you started. Yeah. <laughs> you just get carried Because you want to see what oh. they all do. I will stop, because otherwise, um, you just... Um, I'll pick it up with this, Leo. Yeah. Don't be silly. Come on. Don't burn your fingers Please on your first darling. show Please this don't. morning. Um, do normally leave it to cool down, but have a look at that. Look at the colours. How gorgeous. Isn't it fab? <gasps> and you can really see the speckle of the blue now, can't you? I really love that. It looks so cool. Mm. It looks like the blue looks like I've literally splashed paint all over yeah, it. Yeah. Doesn't it? It looks so... Look at look. it. Isn't it is? Oh, that's gorgeous. And that's the wrong side, you know. So yeah. do have a play with the right side or the wrong side. Right, last one. And then I'll start to do a little bit. See, it's actually, it's cooled down loads yeah. already. Yeah. So it does become quite easy to, to manhandle. Yeah, um, malleable, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And they are bendable as well. Well, you've got it around this bottle I here. I know, doesn't that, that look that good? One there? Look at yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Same one. one. Uh, doesn't that look good? Oh, amazing. And then around the, 
It's, it, that was was that one of my gin bottles? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of the Blythe sent that one for us. <laughs> you have these old bottles lying around. Yeah. Lots of them in our house. The bottles yeah. are so beautiful, though, aren't they? Yes. What it's did you do? Did so you spray nice. the top there, Dan? That, uh, that was sent in by Blanche, but oh, yeah, I that think would be a little. It'll either be spray painted. I bet though it was stippled on, Ooh. to be honest. And I like because the join, you'll have to cover the join. The yeah. join has been. Um, it's the way I do. I've oh. used stippled more times in this show than any. Um, the join has been covered with. Yeah. A bit of velvet, Lovely. and I like the velvet because it looks posh. It does, and you don't catch your hands on it. Then a little it's bit gorgeous. posh, and you do want to be covering it up, yeah, because it Beautiful. is metal and it can hurt. Okay, last one. Now I was chatting about this yesterday. I don't know if it'll work, so I thought nothing better than testing it on live telly. <laughs> I love. <laughs> if I in love doubt, do it live. It's so good to <laughs> test things out on live TV. You're getting a lot of this. I might as well test these out for you rather than you going home and testing them and it failing. Yeah. I'm here and, you know, you don't have to pay for, for my failure. <laughs> you know what I mean? It won't cost you anything. Now, yesterday, our wonderful Catherine said, oh, I bet you can squidge those in. So, because these are raised. Yeah. Okay. So, see, those little knobbly bits. Yeah. And our Catherine said, I bet if you squidge it like that, It'll squeeze It'll those in, in and she were very yeah. right. So I've done that. I'm not going to put my um, my pebble on that because obviously it's got a hole in. And you do really want this to be flat to put your pebble in because okay. obviously it's going to run out otherwise. When you're cutting this down, I'm using our sticky scissors. These are our rubbish scissors, quite frankly, because I'm cutting through metal. So I'm not going to use my best no. paper crafting scissors, yeah. but it shows at least you can cut through it. Okay, so with your pebble, I am sure you're fully aware of pebble. You know, a lot of people will use your, your pebble products. Um, obviously, me being me, I haven't got my cocktail stick. Of course, I haven't. I've got a massive box of all my pebble <laughs> stuff. And of course, they haven't got cocktails. It's with the sandpaper box, isn't it? Yeah. It's just gone. <laughs> Probably. They've run off together, <laughs> sailed away on a beautiful pea green ship. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you have to um, give it a stir with the pebble. A good stir. I have stirred these before the show, but it's gone a bit thicker, but mine's been sat around for quite a while. And then, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the drip. And then, now. The lovely thing about the pebble, it's a little bit like magic. It does all sorts of goodness. And again, because this is metal, mm -hmm. it's going to hold it beautiful. But I'm doing this upside down because the thing is with this, mm -hmm. because it's got the curved up edge, it'll hold Sit it. Sit in it, yeah. 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 So it means, and I don't, have you seen this, Fiona, what this does? I have, I love pebble. It goes, because it gives you that wonderful, um, it breaks up, doesn't it? And it gives you all that movement. It looks like magic. It looks, I mean, this will look like a jewellery piece when it's yeah. done. Obviously, we'll li leave this dry and show you. Hopefully, it'll be dry <gasps> in next hour. But, Ooh. but, to think that you can put this in here. That's amazing. It just gives you another possibility, yeah. doesn't it? It's going to look like jewelled turquoise yes. or, yeah. Yes. <gasps> and it's lovely oh. because it's raised. So, you might be putting a uh, resin in here yeah. and actually you know you might be trapping well, gorgeous nice yeah. um, you might be using something like your um well actually a pentart do a beautiful glaze but you might be using your glossy accents Ooh. you know anything like that that you need a raised surface it might be one of your beautiful gels that you're putting in you know, one of your stencil Ooh, pastes nice. that you pop in here. And that's the lovely thing with it. Because it has, it's got that fantastic little, um, what's the word? Is it concave? No, yes, it, well, it is concave, yeah. yeah. So it'll hold it in it place. Is. I'm not going to go too far. I am going to pop another, that's a bit lovely. of the other colouring. Because... <gasps> Alcove. This is such a good mm. technique. I've not seen this technique like this on the metal before. It's, it's a bit different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love it's it. It's a bit different. I will. Yeah. I will just do this. Oh, it's a recess. Is it a I recess? Mean, it's a re well, I guess so. I love that. But the shape is concave, so it sits in it. But then. Ooh. And you see, the lovely thing is they start to act together. Oh, so see. it means with something like this the playtime that you can have with this. Obviously, it's going to settle 
How long would that take to dry, Leonie? Mm, I'm not 100% sure. No. It's not too thick, yeah. so it might only take a couple of hours. Okay. But I would leave it a couple of hours. I mean, me, things like this, I leave overnight oh, because right. okay. I do quite a few of them. No, and maybe. then you can really see, but I mean, that is already starting to do its thing. Mm. It's already starting to break up and move. And um, at this again, it is seriously addictive. I will stop playing because I've lost, I'm, I'm losing myself. <laughs> and we've, we've but, only got, we've got less than half got, a show remaining. But, but, yeah. I mean, can you see that? Oh. oh man, that is so cool. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Yes. Imagine Ooh. the full thing done like that. Ooh. And then obviously in the center there, you could put an amazing gem. Ooh. That is going to look sensational. Mm. Um, well, you go down and show people I'm going to play. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's have a little reminder of ourselves of the deal of the day that was launched this morning at 7 a.m. with lovely Adam and Alex. So, this is this Yester Frames pocket size light and magnifier. Now, I've seen this time and time again. It folds down, beautiful and compact, brilliant for, you, for your crafting, brilliant for your sewing, brilliant for your reading, your writing at your desk, or anything, and just so handy and compact to travel everywhere. Uh, and lovely gift idea. It's one of those gift ideas ideas you think oh how did I live without this this is such a good idea 995 and that's a brilliant saving 508 739 until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning or while stocks last now he's feeling left out so we've said come on Adam oh, no, it's your I was turn enjoy, for I was enjoying I know it's but, amazing. but that's that's it you get lured in and you get, it gets hypnotized and then you forget you forget to speak because you forget that we you're, do, you're I on did air. That, like yesterday I just I end up watching the TV I know. like I'm at home rather than I I'm on the TV exactly <laughs> exactly but I think this kit it's absolutely not for what you get for the money. Yeah. I think that you're getting you're getting a lot of you're getting a lot for your money. You're here. getting a huge amount, and over seventy percent of the stock has gone. Talk me through what do we get for nineteen ninety nine? If anybody's so, just joined us, so Adam. what you're actually getting is you're getting um, all the metal strips in total. There are twenty, 20 yeah. metal strips all in all, and you're also getting the two waxes down the front as well. I think turtle green and honey gold. These are beautiful <gasps> oh. colours. So you've got your turtle green this side, then you've got your honey gold over here. And are they, am I right in saying they're the ones that you can rub in to make, to bring out the um, crackles? So yes. So you can put them in your crackles so you can get, it yes. really brings out the pigment of the Bring, crackles. Uh, and it really shows the surfaces as, as well. These are the ones that uh, Leonie was just using. Uh, we used the, um, Jessa was a key, but um, on, on the actual strips there, the metal strips. So, well. yeah. so you're getting your metal strips and you're getting them. But look at some of these finished samples that we've got. They are absolutely out of this world. And to think, so you've got your rice papers on the back, which we'll move on to very, very shortly. Um, but then you've got all your metal work around the edges yeah. yourself with all the colours yeah. of the waxes that you've got. But just look at the detail Beautiful. that you've actually got in there. I think I, I do think it's remarkable what you can create out of bits of metal. And now you can put your own stamp on them. I didn't know it could take so many different mediums until, you know, just standing until there with now, the yeah. it's, it's the, the possibilities are endless. Well, I would never think about it, about culling them in and painting them and mm. putting things in them and turning them up, to, using the back of them. Upside down, That's yeah. That's what I like about crafters. They think about everything. <laughs> mm. 19 99 We've got a £6 saving. You are getting 20 of those strips and they're 12 inches each and then two of those pots. And how much, what was the... Oh. Three quarters of the stock has already gone. Will this last the day? Oh, that's the gamble. That's the gamble. Zero nine eight eight, eight five now. three. Don't be an amber gamba. Come on in now. Now you mentioned the rice papers. Now the for rice me. papers. So you are getting uh, you're getting the rice papers all here. We've got new finished samples here as well. I love I love that little rhyme that you have. That was, that's a nice <laughs> little rhyme. I might take that and <laughs> dock it down to myself. Uh, so your rice papers, you're getting four sheets of rice papers. You're getting two of each of the designs that you see in front of us. So you are getting two of the large ones. So you get four of these, if I'm correct. And then you also get uh, two of these as well. So you get two of the big ones. And then you also get six of the little pictures as well. So you are getting all of these uh, for 10.99. You're right, number 521.796. Uh, the usual price is 13.99. 70% of oh, this has gone already. Oh, no. But um, I don't think we've seen this one before. Just look. Oh, that's stunning. On the book, or just on the front of a book. Isn't that gorgeous? Just could be look. an album cover, could be revamping an old book. Yeah, so like, yeah. it goes from that. Yeah. Which I'm guessing that's what the book originally looked like. Yeah. Then to that. transformed, transforms. Yeah. That's what's so beautiful about those rice papers. Oh, yeah. They can cover a, a numerous amount of things and just you know not just put it on a plain canvas. Anything that you've got at home, they can just totally transform. Please don't miss out. So we love I the love silicon this. stamps. Uh, these, this, <laughs> I think 
Out of anything on the show, I think what for this me, your stamps, favorite? this is my favourite. Why what is you it your favourite, Adam? For the sheer fact, if you just look, before we get into the stamps themselves, if you just look at the finished samples that we've got, so the cushion that we've got here, if you put tassels on the end of this, I would go for high-end store. Yeah. I'm talking £30, £40 per cushion. Oh, yes, easily. definitely. And all you're paying today is seventeen ninety nine, usually twenty six uh, twenty six ninety nine. But for seventeen ninety nine, you're getting all three of these uh, foam back stamps. Now I learnt a lot about stamps yesterday, but these are—they're up there with them. They are yeah. an amazing stamp, and how they're formed. You're getting big stamps as well. So they're absolutely huge. If I turn this around without knocking everything over, it looks like now to me as a as a new crafter it looks like if you put paint on there it would never stick and it would slide yeah. everywhere yeah but the impressions that you get on fabrics i saw you only do fabric last night and the fabrics on the oh i suppose you can use them anywhere yeah she's going to videos. revisit that actually that technique i'm looking forward to that and it is because they're made of the silicon you've got that really as you quite rightly point out that deep impression uh so it's really going to make an impact whether it's your fabric your canvas it, they're, they're just brilliant for your mixed mm -hmm. media to use over and over again. They're rough and they're tough and uh, they're stylish. So an amazing price point there as well, Adam, yeah? It is $17.99. is your item number for that one as well. Yeah. Um, and now these. More rice papers, Adam. More <gasps> rice papers. No, I didn't know there was so much. Mm. I thought rice paper was that stuff decoupage. you eat. That's my mistake. Decoupage. Sorry, decoupage. My mistake. Uh, but the decoupage itself. So you're getting 12 sheets of the decoupage papers. Uh, you're getting two... Four designs, two of each is what you're getting. Three of each, sorry, my yeah. apologies. So you're getting three of each, but there's four designs. So you get that scripture there as well. So you've got all the scriptures. So you could uh, cut that out or just um, decoupage onto it. You're getting all the ladies. So you could have that in a nice big frame with Ooh. all the with all the frame around the uh, around the outside. Beautiful. They're so beautiful. You could frame them. Absolutely. Oh, I could see these in it sounds like in on kitchen walls. Yes. Mounted on a big kitchen wall yes. in a frame. Like that, that's what country house style. Uh, so all that you're getting all these designs that we're showing you now. Three three eight four six seven is your item number. Seventeen ninety nine is what you're paying. These are brand new. They only launched last night, and a third of the stock has gone already with these. Now, once again, for these sorts of prices, as we've said before, these are on extended delivery, but once they've gone, they have gone. I don't think we can get any more of these no. in. So we're not, and we're not just saying that either now, that once they have gone, they have completely gone. They're so get them so and while you can. They're I such lovely the qualities. Like Leonie said, there's a little bit more sturdiness to them. You'll see Leonie use these. Watch on the rewind as well, because she soaks them in the water, first of all, oh, and that yeah. gives them that ability to tear, because they're a little bit thicker than the rice paper, but they, they have, oh, they're, they're perfectly decoupage, oh, decorating your boxes. Well, and. Uh, that we've got as well. Yeah. Stunning. Oh, behind, if I move right the way. Uh, Are we mentioning the stencils? I didn't quite catch that, Anna. No, I think we're going to... Oh, no, sorry, my mistake. Uh, I think we're going to look at finished samples. Oh, yes, let's I have a look at some more inspiration. This is a first. Is it? I've not done this bit before. It's so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I can do a cheeky drop roll for you. What are we doing? Right, love. Um, well done. Get it back to the demo. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do, first first job of a presenter, try and control your guest. <laughs> you taught me that this morning. <laughs> yeah. Tick. Um, so what we're doing, and I, I'm probably one of the worst. Um, so what we've got is the right, um, the decoupage paper. Okay. Now, this is cool stuff so i'm recycling a box that i found in the drawers so what i'm going to do first of all and um, pop the now 
I've got a bowl of water. You're actually wetting the decoupage paper. I would normally use a bigger bowl of water. I'm not doing. I'm on live TV. I know what I'm like. So I don't trust myself. So instead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make it harder work for myself. Why not? But at least it's not, you know, at least it's not everything. Now, do you have to use everything? Once through. again, there's no, no question. It's a silly question. But, Absolutely, milk. Um, is it hot, not, obviously not hot water, tepid water, cold water, straight cold out water, of the tap? Bit, yeah, cold water, water, absolutely fine. Um, so, just leave that, and I love this, because that is paper. Look you at that. Think, you would think it would all rip I and know, fry by now. I know, it's just the weirdest. It, it's so, for want of a better word, it is weird. But it works, so don't even question it. Um, I'm going to use my rice paper glue, and I'm going to put... My glue down. Now, this could be rice paper glue, decoupage glue, whatever. It's a light adhesive, so it's a light PVA. The thing is with your decoupage glues, uh, most of your decoupage mediums, they're not really thick, okay. you know, so it, it goes on really quick. It goes on nice and fine. You don't want too much adhesive. I put a little bit too much there, but that's okay because I want it around the edges as well. Um, but yeah, don't put too much adhesive. If you do, then you'll just end up slipping and sliding everywhere, and you just don't need it. You know, decoupage adhesives um, can last ages because you don't use too much. In fact, that, I've put a bit too much, so I'm actually going to take it off and put it on my other box, sorry. Yeah, watch out, Adam. I don't know, I think you're a little <laughs> closer to the paint, bro. <laughs> <laughs> With a glue, he's like, wow, you can move quick, well done. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so pop could it. You, if you could, could you just wipe this off if it was excess? If like, yeah. say you didn't have a bottle, you just yeah. wipe it off. And then Absolutely. And I mean, if you've got um, a base, because as I was putting glue that on the other on the other box, it didn't really want it. It, it the, it's resisting a little bit. So you, if you find that it's resisting, you use gesso first okay. of all. Now, take your decoupage, pop your decoupage on. I'm then gonna get a cleanish cloth. I mean, it's not clean because I stamped on it last night, but that's fine. So clean as your cloth, and from the centre, you just start pushing this out. You work from the centre because you're pushing out the air bubbles, okay? Love, you would think it would still tear when yeah. it's wet paper. It's paper. That is paper. Now, this is the beautiful thing. We can start taking this and going round the edge. Because it's such a nice, lightweight paper, it does that. It will allow me to start folding this down, pulling it down, so it will start to stick. How cool is that? Yeah, and you wouldn't think that is just the paper we're using. Remember, you're getting 12 of these decoupage shapes is what you're actually getting. Now, I'm going to put a bit more on, on the inside. I'm going to put a well of glue there because that doesn't matter. But I'm going to put glue on the inside because I'm obviously wanting this to stick to the inside of the box as well. So you just bring it round. Again, that brown, it seems to have a tiny bit of resist. So you can put your white gesso on just to make sure, you know, because obviously you don't want it completely resisting. And then you just start working that paper round. So just pulling that paper, and I'll get that cloth again like that. If you want, obviously I've used quite a bit of paper here, you don't need to use quite as much paper. You know, you can be um, more, a little bit tighter than I've been. I love this though, because look, I'm not having to worry about cutting into it. It's it's creasing, but actually it, it works, you it's know. Like natural creasing. Is exactly. It? Is and thing? of course with something like this, because it's so soft, because it's going around so easy, you're not fighting with it. I'm not attempting to make that crease. It just does it naturally. Isn't that fabulous? It really and it, it's just so clever, you know. And it, with it being wet as well, that makes it even easier to work with. And literally just getting the, the if, like that bit, if it's a bit too creased, just pull it back again and smooth it out. Oh, so you've got time to work with it yeah. as well. As long you've as it stays wet, you've got time, of time to work. Plenty of time. And then just leave it to dry when you're happy. Like that bit there. I'm not happy with that bit. So again, just pull that off. Where's it gone? Oh, wow. That has stuck really well, you know. So just pull this off. What did Mr. B say then in my head? <laughs> and then 
Just smoothing that back down again. How cool is that? Look at that. Isn't that good? One minute a tatty box, the Boom. next minute you've now got a lid of a box that yeah. you would pay. It's amazing. Now I'm gonna I will play with that in a second, but let me show you the edges as well. So that's that bit and then the edges. Now I'm all, the the glue stuck. I might use the other adhesive because I have got another adhesive. So I might use that one and see if this one takes a little bit more. Because uh, I have got this is a decoupage adhesive as well. So with the edges now, as with decoupage papers, it's up to you. When I use rice papers, oh yeah, that one likes the box better. Um, with my rice papers. I generally tear rice papers because then the the edges sort of they they meld together, together. easier. Yeah, I'm not going to glue everything because I know then when I put it down, you can guarantee I'll just glue it to my table. So I'm going to take one of these pieces of paper and again, again dump it in water. Have I only got six minutes? Where's that hour gone. Good grief! That's because I was playing too much with my metal shapes, just having a lovely time. Okay, so if I don't, I'm not going to get to finish this, but I will carry on in the next hour because um, I want to get this decorated. So just taking the paper. So with this one, as I was saying, normally with my rice papers, I I, I um, rip it. With this one, I'm not. I'm actually keeping this nice and. Um, nice and smooth because it will just overlay and look at this how cool is this nice. so starting from one edge just and the lovely thing is if there's a little crease you don't want you can get rid of it the papers actually suit creases because they're all newspaper so we actually you know you can get away with saying oh it's meant to be like that in fact this would look good if you actually did crease it and put it on yeah, it would still look like amazing photo boxes yeah yeah keep all your old photos in there all your memories yes. in there from over the years like you just get an old box like an old hat box if yep. you've got one how cool is that and look how easy how easy this is I mean it might be you might be using this um, or it could be anything I mean we all have storage boxes this is lovely for storage boxes it might be it might be um, you know biscuit boxes because yeah, like if it's plastic if you're putting your gesso or even if you put you know your um, oh, thingy tape the sticky paper, tissue paper tape, I can't think of at the minute, masking. If you put masking tape on, that'll give it a key as well. Ah. But look at that. Look how well that's glued on. Isn't that fabulous? How quick and, and then simple it is It as is well. so quick and simple. And then what I'm going to do, take another layer of adhesive. So I'm not doing the adhesive all the way around because I know I'm doing it a section at a time. Now, when you've actually put it on, you will do a layer of adhesive over the top oh, of okay, it as well. Seal it. That'll seal it. And of course, then you can put a varnish over the top, a glaze, whatever you want. I would put your glue down there as well okay making sure that sticks and i'm trying to be a bit quicker because i would oh i'm gutted it's gone so fast i seriously thought i would actually i've got to do you know isn't it funny i mean i had three shows yesterday i've got two more shows today and i'm whinging about running out of time <laughs> it's like girl uh, you know but it's this is the lovely thing about crafting it's enjoyable you're it having is. fun this isn't a job you know and I do think we are very we're very lucky there we go look at that see it it just blends so don't worry about cutting it down um, don't worry about trying to match it up don't worry Straight about ripping the... it. it it blends beautifully and again I love this I love how simple that is and again the the pattern the design it lends itself to this it lends so it really itself does, to a beautiful box. You don't really need to match it up because no. it, it's random bits of paper yes. put together like, on, the, on the full sheets that you're getting. It doesn't need to match up perfectly. Yeah. So you can overlap them like you are overlapping the newspapers as you can see in the pictures there. Exactly. And it doesn't matter if you've got a bit of a crease in, that isn't a big deal. And you're going over the top with the adhesive as well. So if something isn't 100%, you're going back over. I adore it. And I'm going to allow, it has got a couple of creases in there, but I'm going to allow those to stay because I actually quite like the creases. We've nearly done a full box. We've How only got... What was that? Look! Imagine having to do this. You know, if you were doing, oh, I don't know, separate pieces of paper. Imagine the time it could take you. I mean, this is seriously quick. I'm going to cut this one down. I'm not wasting any of the paper because, obviously, you're going to 
never use any scraps yeah. so you're not wasting anything on this one and then there we go another bit of glue there and again not putting too much glue putting a little bit of glue on the inside this on the inside I would then go around so I glue it on the inside and I will glue underneath just to make sure it's sticking down. Hi there, Arfie. Well, you were talking boxes, so I, I thought we've all, I know this is slightly big, but we've it. all got millions of shoe boxes. Yeah. How many, many shoe, shoe boxes, boxes have we got at home? Exactly. It could be anything, any packaging. How beautiful. Any packaging. And it's easy. You know, um, if I'm going around a circle box, <laughs> imagine how easy it is to go around a square box. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the lovely thing. I mean, this one, I will finish this in the next hour. I'll use the stencils on it, and then we'll use our metal embellishments on it. And can you do this to make to sell? Oh, gosh, yes. And Imagine this is a lovely money. thing, upcycling. <laughs> I know. Imagine the money. For 17 99 <laughs> oh, you've got an old <laughs> shoe box that you took your I shoes know. from that you're currently you're, wearing. You're absolutely exactly. right, though. Seventeen ninety nine, yeah. and yeah. You, you could sell that for yeah. 20 25 yeah and Easily. you could absolutely with beautiful embellishments or if you're making things like maybe a knit you know maybe a saw this is a lovely lovely way of actually look at that it's a lovely way of actually putting quick your finished that. products in isn't Gorgeous. that quick you've done with that so lid. quickly leonie and you're back with lid. Lid. One o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock. Yes. We're gonna do more. One o'clock. I'm gonna finish this off, and also we're gonna have a look at that Christmas kit as well. Oh, oh yes. Which is, yes. Yeah. It's on the website. Uh, all the cards. It has been on before, but it might be new to you. So have a little look on the website. Have a little look at the rest of the stock as well, because it's all flying out it the really window, isn't it? Is. So please don't miss out. And uh, thank you, Adam. Thank you, Leonie. Thank you, guys. We'll, see you both at well done. <laughs> Plenty more still to see coming thank up on our Chanda. <laughs> right then, this is what's coming up for the next three hours here on Hachanda. Coming up next, you've got Design and Sew, then followed by MDF. Ooh, what a show that is. And then later on, you've got more problems. Hello everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family.